the uh, karate studio and the goal is to do a revival um, to bring back their head or their chest uh, to bring them some comfort and mental alertness and allow them to breathe easier uh, so they can continue with class okay uh, this is kind of a level one um, issue okay there's higher levels of complications but 90 percent of the time this is most likely um, what you'll be dealing with okay so if I knock him out or I attack this side and he's all dizzy, okay? Ideally, I'm going to come to the opposite side. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll come to the opposite side here, slap this, and massage. Okay? Very close to gallbladder 20, but kind of we call it the wake up nerve. Okay? Slap, massage, bring some energy up the back. Okay? And that should bring the head back extremely quickly, okay? Within a minute, he's off training again. It, it's a very quick thing. Um, I like to do these revivals while they're on their feet. I don't like to let them, just because you hit them well enough for them to fall all the way down. But that's where a greater injury would occur. Puts an arm out, sprains his wrist, falls, hits his head, hurts his hip, built tailbone, all kinds of stuff, okay? Because he's, when they're unconscious, their body can't defend itself on the way down, okay? So we catch it. His legs buckled, I'll provide support. If he's a little lightheaded, I'll tap him, massage, and get his head back, okay? However, should he make it to the floor, Okay, and let's say he, most likely he's going to go all the way down. Okay, if I'm pretty sure it's a head knocked out, or I just did the damage. Okay, I'm pretty, I, I know. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do first, I'm going to cross his legs, cross his arms. Okay, and I'm going to support the neck, bring him up, support the chin. And if I knock him out on this side, tap this side, and massage, okay? Bring some energy up the back, and massage, okay? And you can start talking to them, and you, you can tell when they come back. Um, they'll be, you can tell on their responses by how, how, how back they are, okay? So anyway, that's, that's where I head knock out. Now, if, if it's a heart knockout, he's probably going to be in a fetal position, more like this, okay, rather than straight on his back. So at this point, I'm not 100% sure if it's a kind of a heart spasm or a lung spasm, okay? But either way, I'm going to bring him up, okay? If I think he's having troubles with his heart, and we're not saying that the heart stopped or anything like that. This is just a heart start right here. We're gonna slap this, okay? And get that heart going again. And really what it does is it, you know how you bump your leg and you go, oh crap, you know? You rub it, or you slap it and you rub it. That's natural, okay? That slap calms the nerves. And that's exactly, when you attack here, this calms the nerves of the heart. Okay, and yeah, as Jim is saying, this hip also opens up his chest so he can breathe, okay, without so much restriction. Give that heart a chance to relax and, and recover and not feel constricted and panicky because the body takes a little while to figure that out, okay? Now, if I think it's his lungs or he's having difficulty breathing, I've come through on this side, okay? And then more of this top quadrant here. The back is, the heart is right here. And the lungs is here. Actually, just right through this area here. So I like to tap this here to relax these muscles. Whenever the lungs are spasming, okay, these muscles get super tight. 
So if you come up to somebody and these muscles are tight, you know that they're having a, a lung issue. And this works for asthma, okay? If you have kids with asthma, or they're in the class and they need to go get their inhaler, do this, okay? Pretty good chance they're not gonna need their inhaler, okay? This literally relaxes these muscles when they get all tight, that causes bronchial restriction, and those nerves in there are, are twittering, okay? They're, they're having trouble functioning properly. And again, these little hits here that opens up that chest, okay? So again, asthma, do massage, rub some knuckles across these. You gotta get these to relax, okay? Again, lung, heart, okay? Head, okay? Those are three key elementary neurological recoveries, okay? Now, let's say he stands up a little bit and then he goes, oh crud, he just falls right back down. This can happen. There's a little, a little more of a problem than you anticipated. That's okay, bring him up, get his head going again, and just relax, let him lay down. And then you're gonna come over and you're just gonna raise these legs, okay? Now, what usually will happen is his face is going to be flush, possibly it could be red, white, red, or it could just be red and white blotchy. Um, it's more of a basal vagal response is probably what has happened. And you just got to elevate the feet, let the blood come back to the head, and it's slow, okay? Minimum five minutes probably 20 minutes and they'll be fine. But they're not gonna wanna lay there for 20 minutes. You just gotta convince them, relax. Takes a long time for this recovery. Especially on all the other recoveries are very quick. Head comes back, a couple of minutes, they're out training again. This one, they're not, okay? They're not injured any worse. They're just, the recovery is slower, okay? That's fine, even if he passes out right now, that, we're not concerned about that. You could see if his chest is rising and you could check pulse and do all those things, but usually not a, not a concern, okay? Um, this is, anyway. So again, head knockout, and gonna come through here. Heart knockout or chest recovery, chest heart, head, and lungs. Okay, so these are just quick revivals. Anytime they're down or dizzy, it seems worse than it is. Um, just like when you hit your leg, your body's going, holy crap, that really hurts. And you're going, oh, and you're slapping your leg and you're rubbing it. And what? Just 30 seconds later, you're fine. Okay? It's the same kind of thing. It's that we're proactive, we're fixing it, we're getting the recovery. Okay? There's other revivals uh, for a little more severe situations. We'll address those at another time. But these revivals are safe. Um, now I didn't actually need to do these revivals because there's nothing wrong with it, okay? If I hit that, um, the heart recovery here, just on the bladder line, I can actually cause damage, okay? So you only do it when they're under duress, okay? If they're calm and breathing fine, you don't need to do anything. It's when they're actually in duress that you need to do something. Okay? Thank you.